Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Let's see if we can scale the cliffs at Land's End to reach Bean Valley. If you recall, back at Monster Town, the Monster Mama deployed her paratrooper squad to help us get to the top. But are they going to carry us directly up there? No, we have to go through a mini game to get up there by jumping from one paratrooper to the next. And if you fall down, you die! No, no, uh, you just have to start over, which is probably even more annoying, really. Now, once you get up to that third step, a timer is going to start, and depending on how quickly you get to the top, that'll determine what reward you can win from the minigame. So, let's see what we can do with that. The problem is, at the start, you got these shells that are right above you, and if you try to jump under them, you'll just run into the shell, and yeah, you'll fall down, and you gotta start over again. So how'd we do there? Not bad, not bad. In the Super Nintendo version of the game, that would be a good enough time to get the ultimate reward from this mini game. You gotta get under 12 seconds there. But in the Switch version of the game, you gotta get the time under 11 seconds for some reason. So, yeah, we gotta try again and do it a little faster this time. The trick is to being able to move a little further ahead on a shell than, like, being dead center on it. So let's see what we can do with that. So just move a little more to the right here, so that way I can clear that shell a little more quickly. And the same thing with that one, but to the left there. And then once you get up here, get to the top, and what's our time? Hey, hey! All right! Barely under 11 seconds there. Not bad. And for doing so, we get the Troopa Medal, or Troopa Pin, in the Super Nintendo version of the game. One of the best accessories in the game. So let's see what we get with that one. So let's see, the Troopa Metal not only boosts your speed by 20, but it also has a hidden auto buff attached to it, Attack Up. Basically the same thing as Geno Boost without the perfect timing there. So it boosts your damage by 50%, which is obscene for random battles, but some of the tougher and more annoying bosses in the game can dispel your buffs, and unlike every other Final Fantasy game, auto buffs do not reassert themselves in Super Mario RPG. Even if I got an auto buff from a piece of equipment, if it's dispelled, it's gone. And yeah, we can't get it back. So that basically reduces the troop of metal to just a boost of 20 speed, which is not that extraordinary for super boss fights. So yeah, I wouldn't use it in those situations, but Everywhere else, it is really, really good. So, save that for later years. But for now, in order to advance the plot, just leave Land's End through the exit here to reach the fifth region of the world. Or, well, I suppose we've already been here before, but uh, we can go to Monster Monstro Town directly from there, or we could go to Bean Valley to advance the plot, or we could do side quests. So, yeah, let's do... A little other stuff around the area okay so back at the room with the the three musty fears they were saying you got to find I think three flags that they hid around the world the first one we got the boo flag that they said they would hide between an O and an A which is right between here at the Yoster Derby or races whatever they call the races here so flag number one let's see for flag number two they were saying they were gonna hide it behind a wooden flower and that one is right at the start of rose town just go behind the wooden flower boom you got flag number two and then let's see i want to go back to tadpole pond if you didn't deliver the cricket jam to frog fuchsia yet I would recommend doing so now to get your 10 frog coins, but I've already done that. Let's see what they got at the shops here. Okay, so I would like to buy some finless colas, but yeah, they're a little pricey at this point. So remember that for later, viewers. 90 coins a piece there, but uh, no, no, I'm not gonna go for that. 
if you also remember, back at Monster Town, there was that star that had a new song for us, and I want to teach that to Tadovsky. So let's see what we can do with that one. Fortunately, they had a picture on the wall that perfectly illustrated where all the notes are supposed to be. So yeah, it's a lot easier to figure out in, or than the Super Nintendo version of the game. And then, yeah, the rest, last three are easy enough. Just mash the B button at the very end there to get that E note at the top there. And just like Mario Paint, yeah, they don't have any sharps or flats to the notes here. They just keep it simple, I guess. But, all right. And for, I almost said defeating Tadavsky, but no. Uh, before, or for relaying the song to Tadavsky, we get the ultimate soprano card. Well, what else is there? Too many notes? No. Okay, put my name on the album. I can take some royalties. Oh, I gotta make up a song or something? Okay, I guess we can do that. I'll just make something that I think sounds nice or whatever. Whatever I can do with that. But yeah, you gotta have eight notes. If you just want to get through this part really quickly, you can... Just press or mash the B button and just have all E notes there, but. Eh, just uh, some nice sounding notes, I guess. So now they're gonna play all the songs back to back there. <laughs> well, that was a bit overly dramatic for the song, but there we go. So we've taught all the songs to Dolowski. We've got all the cards that we can get from him. So now let's put it to use with more happy music. And also at the shop here, now that we've got a soprano card, we can buy Coca-Colas directly. And we also get a bigger discount on thinless colas so how about we buy two of those that ought to be good enough for my needs if i need them at all and i don't think i'm gonna use three coca colas throughout the whole game let alone uh one or two but all right okay so we got the soprano card let's see there's one more flag that we need to find and that one is back at mario's pad i think they said they were hiding it under a green bed or Something or other like that. So, yeah. There you go. The Dry Bones flag. Okay. So that's all of those. Let's get back to the Three Musty Fears at Monster Town. And see what reward we get for our efforts. See, I think it was in this room. Okay. So then, yeah. Just uh, turn out the nightlight. And get the three ghosts to come back, I guess, or something or other. Hey, how's it going? Okay, yeah, there we go. Thanks, I guess? Yeah, I didn't know they had so much variety in the undead in Mario games. Well, you're welcome. Before completing this little side quest, what do we get? You're not going to tell us, are you? Well, in any case, the accessory is equipped on Mario automatically. The Ghost Medal, which the description is a bit misleading. It gives you the auto buff defense up. And just like with the Trippet Shell, it can be dispelled, except this one doesn't really have any stat boosts attached to it. So, yeah, it's not really that good. I don't think I ever use it, but 
it's available. We can uh, put it to use whenever I want. Let's see, over here, let's see. Okay, so we got that sealed door. Let's see, I think the piranha plant was saying something about it. Right, right, we know about that. Hmm, a shiny rod. Have I saw, or seen something like that before? Well, if you recall, back at Moville, there was a guy that had a shiny stone. And yeah, so that's how you're supposed to know to come back here to get the shiny stone again. In order to do that, you gotta buy some fireworks. Yeah, we'll just uh, mash through that as quickly as we can. And then you gotta trade the fireworks for the shiny stone. But uh, yeah, sure. And this time though, we don't want to uh, do that again. Thank you. But uh, yeah, we don't want to trade the shiny stone for, what was it, a carbo cookie or something? Ooh, I almost, uh, yeah, just went back to the main menu there, the title screen menu. Oh, that would have been bad. But no, no, I actually want to get back over to Monster Town. Yeah, we're all back at full HP and FP there. What is behind that sealed door anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.